A GoFundMe page is asking for help for an Egg Harbor Township teenager. The Atlantic City Board of Education could publicly address the criminal charges against Superintendent Laquetta Small. And the Hard Rock is getting ready for Memorial Day weekend. Are you? Hey there, I'm Brandi Hitt, and this is your breaking AC News Brief. A GoFundMe page is asking for donations to help an Egg Harbor Township teen after she was hit by a tow truck. 15-year-old Emily Davis was riding her bike home from her mother's salon when she was hit. Police say the teen fell before she was hit and then was run over by the truck's rear wheels. Davis remains in critical condition, where she has undergone multiple blood transfusions and surgeries. Her injuries include broken legs, a fractured pelvis, and collapsed lungs. The GoFundMe has already raised more than $14,000. The Atlantic City Board of Education could finally publicly address the criminal charges filed against Superintendent Laquetta Small. Small and her husband, Mayor Marty Small, are accused of abusing their 16-year-old daughter. Dr. Small has continued to lead the school district despite the pending abuse and child endangerment allegations without a word from the elected board despite three meetings since she and her husband were charged. That could change at a special meeting set for Thursday night to discuss personnel issues. The discussions that so far have occurred behind closed doors in executive sessions could finally be made in the public forum. And Memorial Day weekend is right around the corner and two new venues are set to open their doors. An outdoor restaurant and a nightclub will open at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. The terrace will open Thursday through Sunday and will be upscale according to Hard Rock. The balcony at Hard Rock will feature a DJ, cocktails, bottle service, and an upscale VIP nightlife experience. It will be open weekends starting at 9 p.m. The one thing the Hard Rock won't have this summer is its beach bar, which was damaged during winter storms. The hotel says it will instead offer a seaside retreat with lounge chairs, umbrellas, private restrooms, and beverage service. So make those Memorial Day weekend plans sooner rather than later. I'm Brandi Hitt. Thank you so much for watching today's breaking AC News Brief. Of course, please follow us on social media as well to stay up to date with more news headlines and events.